Hi peeps, Kara Sophia here, and we are in Minecraft Snapshot 19W13A. And the notes, the release notes for this snapshot say that they fixed the breeding problem, which we are going to test. So we have here behind me, this is the Frilioth's breeder. Uh, and that was my other copy that I was making for that. But so this is fairly off breeder, except instead of the doors, I put beds up there. Now, the old thing about where they go and where they don't go does not seem to matter. It doesn't seem to be a proximity thing because um, I've theoretically had this turned off. However, the breeding cycle is very, very slow. I had an earlier uh, baby here. When I first logged on, this guy came through. And let me do a data get on him. He, where are his memories? Uh, memories here, his memories. He has a home and yeah, he has a home, but he does not have a profession. He does not have a work site yet and he does not have a bell yet, but yet he, um, he bred. Now see, so here I, I put the beds up there, I put the a bunch of um, composters here sort of thinking, yeah, you know, if I got a composter I could get a, a farmer or whatever just to sort of see what I got. Um, when I created a new one over there, they were able to pick up, when I created a, spawned a new villager there, they were able to pick up these. So there's quite a bit of distance that they can pick up. This guy just bred, so in the, the, I don't know, 10 minutes or whatever I've been on this server, I've gotten one baby right after I first logged on, and then this one just a bit ago. And let me pull his data. Hi, cutie. And he's got a profession none. Uh, memories, he has a home. He just, he has a home of 968.48, and that home, three, uh, let's see here, 968.48. So his home is that bed. So he has claimed that bed. I wonder, can I do a data get block? Uh, yeah, 968.48. Yeah, so that the bed does not know it's claimed by a villager, but the villager knows it has claimed that bed. So I think, <clears throat> but now if I move him away, I would need to break this bed and create another bed at the other place for him to claim. Okay, this guy down here. Oh, I already pulled his data. His data was up ahead of this one. Where are his memories? Uh, oh, that's the same one, 96848. Uh, Villager has a following of these. 86848, so it's the bed next to it. So, <clears throat> breeding is clearly dependent on beds, not on doors, not on work sites. They'll, to pick up a profession when they're an adult, they'll probably pick it up when they when they become an adult. So when this when these guys become adults, I'll check and see if they've picked up a work site. Um, and the gathering points, apparently they'll pick that up when they become adults. So this breeder will work, although I don't think the upper guy is necessary <clears throat> and I haven't tested out range yet. Oh, we have another one down there. We have another one down there. So this works. Let's see what his memories say. Up to the... Well, so actually, the breeder would stop working, I think, if you run out of beds. And they might pick beds up from elsewhere. The next nearest beds, I think, are over at this test site. <clears throat> yeah, but these, oh no, these beds are not currently claimed. I don't currently have any villagers in here. And there's beds in this building project I was working on, but these beds might be all claimed. 
are, are you guys by any chance breeding? If I put more beds, these guys don't have access to food. I think I have more beds than I have villagers. <clears throat> well, so let's toss them some food. Give you some food. Give you some food. We've got hearts going on. Let's give some more food around. <clears throat> Pick up food, guys. Yeah, food. Oh, they're also saying illagers can. Oh. The baby's up here already. Hi, baby. Okay. I'm turning the time tonight so that everybody will go to their beds. <clears throat> Hi. Stop jumping long enough for me to get your data. Where are your memories? You have a home. Okay. Minus 119.50. Okay, so TP minus 119.56.32. Ah, that's why he has not gone to his bed. That's why he's up there on the stairs is because he's claimed one of these beds over here. If I break this bed... Will he claim another one closer? So bed management. And note that um, a villager can claim the player's bed too. I don't know if they will respect the player's spawn point. That's going to be... Okay, so I've done all those beds. What's your bed now? Actually, I can just use the same day to get. What do your memories say now? He hasn't picked up on the change yet. He's still trying to get over there. They are kind of slow to change their memories, I've noticed. So it might be that you get as many villagers as you have beds. And we still only have the two here and that one there. So we haven't gotten any more over here yet. Let me check that baby's memories again. Has he picked up on the difference? He has not picked up on the difference yet. Okay, well, so we know it's possible to breed. We know it's possible to control the breeding. We're going to have to do some more experiments on range. Oh, time set night. I can quick go down and look and see if all those beds are occupied because if all of those beds are occupied, that would also influence. He would not be able to, the baby would not be able to pick up a location down here. These beds are not all occupied. So for bed inventory management, it is going to be convenient if the villagers have access to their beds so that we know which beds, since you can't tell by reading the bed, in order to know which beds are occupied and which are not, the villagers need access to them. What happens if I set a bed next to this baby? He hasn't detected the dis difference yet that his bed has not gone away. So these guys are not terribly good at updating. That's interesting. Okay, so, well, clearly more to come. 
human experimentation. I know they're not humans. Villager experimentation. Does that get me out of the moral bind? <laughs> Anyways, until next time, peeps. This is Cara Sophia. Bye.